Hi friends, it's Dana here. It is the new year, which is the time for new beginnings. And sometimes new beginnings mean something has to end. Like in this book, this little boy has a beloved tree and eventually that tree goes away. But luckily this boy has a great attitude about it and for him it represents a new beginning. So let's find out what this new beginning is all about. It is called My Tree. It is by Hope Lim and pictures by Il Sung Na. Let's read it. In the backyard of our new home stood an old tree, tall, crooked, quiet. It reminded me of the persimmon tree that shaded our porch in Korea. Deep purple plums dotted every branch, so I named her Plummy. I watered her, climbed on her, and found a perfect spot to hide and spy until everyone wondered where I was. I spent my first day in America with Plummy, and she became my tree. Whenever I missed my home in Korea, Plummy lifted me up, and I played on her branches. In the spring, I celebrated my birthday under her blooming white flowers. In the summer, I watched the sky through her thick green leaves. In the fall, I picked purple plums and shared them with neighbors. In the winter, I listened to the wind through whistle the wind whistling through her dark brown branches. Plummy made me feel at home. One spring night, a rainstorm with high winds swept through the city and knocked down many trees, old and new. Plummy fell down that night. The next morning, I saw Plummy lying in the middle of the yard, away from the house, away from the deck, and away from the fence. Her roots were pulled out of the earth, worn out and sad. An old tree knows when to, how to lie down when it's time, my grandma had told me in Korea. I climbed on Plummy and stood on her. How immense she looked under my feet. Four days. She turned into everything I wished for, a tree house, a rocket, an island. A ship, neighborhood kids joined in, and we all had fun. Until a little boy scraped his arm and cried, and then it was time for Plummy to go. The next day, Plummy was hauled away. Without Plummy, everything felt different. No more white flowers, no more green shade, no more, no more purple plums or whistling wind, and no more secret hiding place. In the middle of the yard, I stood alone, remembering Plummy, tall, crooked, quiet. Daddy, I miss Plummy. Daddy nodded and squeezed my hand. A few days later, we planted a new plum tree, short and straight, in Plummy's old place. I watered her and patted down the soil. I wondered if she would ever know an old tree. Once stood there where her roots were spreading. I watered her more and she grew little by little. Then one spring day, I saw something familiar. The new plum tree had her first blossoms. Fresh white flowers dotted every branch and fluttered in the breeze. The new tree was short and straight, but donned in milky petals. She stood quiet, like Plummy. Hello, I whispered. In the backyard of our home stands a young plum tree. I water her and watch her grow tall and strong, and I feel right at home. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story about that beautiful old plum tree, which gave way to a brand new one that the boy loved just as much. It is such a lovely story. I hope all your new beginnings are just as beautiful as this one. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Bye.